guys, it's Kocher and welcome to another video. This one is going to be a comprehensive guide on air rolling in Rocket League. Air roll is a fundamental skill to learn in order to play Rocket League at a high level. And once you truly master this skill, you look back to your days before you learned air rolls and think to yourself, how did I play this game without air rolls? Seriously, after learning and practicing air rolls, it is unimaginable to play this game without it. And hopefully, this video will help you in learning the same. Before we begin though, I have linked more excellent tutorials down in the description if you wish to see more awesome content on air rolls. Also, a reminder that I stream on Twitch every weekday and sometimes on Sunday, which you should totally check out by the way. Go follow, link in the description. Hang on, I come say hi. Learning air rolls can be divided into three sections. Air roll while aerialing, air roll while taking a shot, and air roll recoveries, which is exactly how I've divided this video. Timestamps to each section are on the screen right now and also in the description. Also, I highly recommend that you bind air roll button to L1 or LB and one directional air roll button of your choice. All right, with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. Air roll while aerialing is not as simple as just holding down the air roll button and expecting to control your car in whatever direction you want. Sometimes you'll boost downwards and flop to the ground. Sometimes you'll spin out and don't know what to do and all that good stuff. So let's fix it. Now I'm assuming that you are at least decent at aerials. Decent enough that if you go up for the ball, you can hit it consistently. However, if you are not comfortable with aerials, I suggest you learn that first and then learn air rolls. We'll practice air rolls first and then add hitting the ball later. Go into free play and try practicing air rolling from goal to goal, adding air rolls as you go. Notice that I'm holding my air roll button and giving direction with my left analog stick. Your car will just barrel roll its way in the air. This is pretty simple and it should come very easily to you. The tricky part, which might take a long time to get used to, is to aerial at an angle and then adding air rolls. The key is to be aware of the boosters of your car and only to boost when they're facing downwards. You will spin out here, boost downwards and have a lot of blackout moments where you just don't know what to do. This is where the grind comes in. You need to build muscle memory so that if you are in an awkward position, you don't even have to think to correct yourself. There is just no shortcut to this. You have to give in the hours and practice as much as you can. After you're moderately comfortable doing this, try adding air roll on the boundary of the map, circling it. Correcting yourself as you go. Once you're comfortable doing this, air roll throughout the path of the map. This will take some time to get used to, so practice a bit. And now, we finally move on to actually hitting the ball. You can practice this by doing this custom training map. I highly recommend that you air roll all the way to the ball and practice hitting the ball first, preferably with the nose of a car. you're consistently hitting the ball, only then focus on scoring. Once again, air rolls are easier to understand but take a lot of time to master, so keep practicing. Ever wondered what is the difference between a pro taking the shot versus you taking the shot? I'll tell you. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> Funny jokes aside, air rolling before taking a shot can help you get more power on the ball and allows you to have the accuracy of Hawkeye from Avengers. Let's understand this from an example. In this, the goal is to the right side of the ball. So we jump to reach the height of the ball. Just before dodging into the ball, we hold down the air roll button and turn our analog stick left and down. So ultimately the direction is bottom left. Now to take the shot, 
we dodge the opposite of bottom left which is top right and witness the ball soaring towards the goal. Stupid fucking kids cheering. The same is true if you want to shoot to your left. Turn the analog stick bottom right and dodge top left. That's it. That's aerial shots. A couple of points to note. The rules of shooting still apply to the shooting with air rolls. Mainly, hitting with the nose of your car will generate more power and if you hit the ball on the bottom, it will go up. If you hit it on the top, it will go down and the ball will pretty much go straight if you hit it in the middle. If you master this, your accuracy will increase just like Bruce Banner's biceps after he transforms into Hulk. I'm always angry. Man, that guy is a fucking unit. The goal of this is to make sure you always land on your wheels and face the direction of your car's momentum to always keep you traveling at a high speed throughout the field. A couple of points to help you recover with ease. Use air roll to make sure you always land with your wheels pointing towards the ground and use the analog stick to face the direction of your car's momentum. It never hurts to power slide a bit after you land, just make sure you don't slip out. To practice this, head over to free play. Aerial into the air and intentionally spin out. Then try to land on all four of your wheels using air roll. After you got the hang of it, practice facing the direction of your momentum using your analog stick. Note that the in-game situation will most likely be different from what you're practicing in free play. So it's better to understand and get a feel rather than building muscle memory in case of recoveries. There you go guys, that's my comprehensive guide on air rolling. If you think I missed something which others can benefit from, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you've made it this far, congratulations, you're part of only 10% of my audience who watches the entire video, so uh, comment your favorite uh, fruit in the comment section so the other 90% are baffled with all the fruit comments. Who, who wrote this? Anyway. Consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button if this video helped you in any way and make sure to tune in to my streams. As always, thank you for watching.